What's up guys, today we'll be talking about IPS and VA panels and if you don't know about IPS and VA panels, these are the two panels which we basically find in displays which are LED displays. So anything from your monitor to your television or even laptop displays. The one which have LED, those are the displays in which we find VA and IPS panels. So if you're looking in the market for a television and you don't know which one you should go for either a IPS panel or a VA panel. So don't worry, we're here to help you out. Watch this video till the end. It will definitely help you. And there are a lot of differences between these two panels and we're going to talk about it. So my name is Gaurav, this is Technicos and let's get straight into it. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the viewing angles, the contrast ratio, the picture quality, the black uniformity. And if you don't know about these things, I will be explaining these while we go or progress through the videos. So starting with the viewing angles, viewing angles is basically the angle at which you can look at the display and it does not lose any quality. So if in any television category, it says it has wide display or wider angle display, wider view angles and it says 178 degrees so that means that up to 178 degrees you can watch the display and it will be clear you can watch it from that angle so in this category the clear cut winner is the ips display because ips displays have better viewing angles than the va panels but if you look at it when you go par those angles va panel loses its quality and the IPS panel loses its brightness. So it does lose a little bit, but overall compared to the VA panel, it is much better when seeing from a different angle or a wider viewing angles. Now talking about the contrast ratio, you see a lot of these things in all the specifications of televisions that contrast ratio, it's 1000 is to one or 3000 is to one or 5000 is to one. So what does this basically mean? So the contrast ratio is basically how much brighter your display can get and how much dull or dim your display can get or the panel can get. So that is the contrast ratio. You see 4000 that is the highest or the maximum brightness that the display can reach and one is obviously the dimmest which the display can be. So in terms of contrast ratio, VA panels are much superior than the IPS panels and you can obviously figure out if a television is an IPS display or a VA display through the contrast ratio because many of the manufacturers are not exactly writing about it or putting it in the headers or even the specifications about which panel this is. So if you look at it, if the contrast ratio is about 1000 is to 1, it is an IPS display. And if the contrast ratio is, you know, 3000 to 5000 is to 1, then it is a VA panel. Now talking about the third point, which is the black uniformity. Now the black uniformity basically means how accurately the display can present a black color, a true pure black color, like just black color, like this. If you're seeing this display as a bit grayish display, then your panel is an IPS panel. And if you're watching this one clearly in black, like pure black, jet black, then it is a VA panel because VA panels are better in black uniformity than the IPS panels. IPS panel tend to show it a little bit gray or bluish uh, when it comes to darker displays now talking about the overall quality now in my opinion the overall quality of the va panels is much better than the ips panels that is my opinion because it has much better contrast ratio and even the black uniformity is much better so you're gonna get a much accurate look of picture which you're looking at or the movie or the video but in IPS display, you have an advantage of watching it from a wider angle. So if you have a wider room from which you're going to look at the TV or the display, then I think you should go with the IPS panels because a wider angle of view it provides. But if you have a smaller or a bit darker room, then I think you should go with the VA panel because it is much better for color uniformity and even contrast ratio which means color accuracy and the brightness and dimmest ratio you don't care but the picture quality is much better in VA panel and 
if you want to look at it from an angle then yes uh, or from a far bit then ips panels are better another thing is that you will mostly find ips panels in full hd tvs or even budget tvs because the higher end tvs go with oled displays or amoled displays qled displays sled displays but in just led display if you are going for a full hd tv you will find an ips display more than a va panel but if you look at a 4k tv then most probably you are going to find a va panel and which is much better in picture quality than the ips panel so yeah that almost clears a little bit of doubt on which one you should go for so that's about it and if you like this video two thumbs up i request you to subscribe because we need it and i'll see you guys in the next one